economic consequences. What about, what about the argument that, that President Trump basically says that you have to balance environmental interests and economic interests, and he's drawn his line? Well, he hadn't drawn a line. He still, for example, makes sure that we, he wants to make sure that methane's not a problem. We can, you, you can now emit more methane without it being a problem. Methane. This is a guy who says that you don't have to have mildly standards for automobiles that exist now. This is a guy who says that well, the fact that it, 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 it's all true. And here's You're the talking deal. about the Green New Deal, and it's not two billion I'm, or twenty billion, as you said. I'm, it's one hundred trillion dollars. I'm talking about where they want to rip down buildings and rebuild the building. No, it's the dumbest, most ridiculous. Not where airplanes are out of business, that's where that's two car systems are out, where they want true. to take out the cows. Not, not, you know that's true. not true either, right? Not this true. is a this is a one hundred trillion. Sure. That's more money. That our country could make in a hundred years if we're not part of the case. All right, let me, 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 like it's going to cost a lot of money and hurt the economy. What it's going to do is going to create thousands and millions of jobs, good paying jobs. jobs. But let him finish, sir. He doesn't know. The fact is it's going to create millions of good paying jobs and these tax incentives to people for people to weatherize, which he wants to get, get rid of. It's going to make the economy much safer. Look how much we're paying now to deal with the hurricanes. With the deal with, by the way, he has an answer for hurricanes. He said, maybe we should drop a nuclear weapon on them. They may. I never said that. That's what they did. You made it up. Uh, and here's the deal. You make up. We, we are going to be in a position where we can create hard, hard, good jobs by making sure the environment is clean and we all are in better shape. We spend billions of dollars now, billions of dollars on floods, hurricanes, rising seas. We're in real trouble. Look what's happened just in the Midwest with these storms that come through and wipe out entire sections and counties in Iowa. They didn't happen before. They're because of global warming. We make up 15% of the world's problem. We, in fact, but the rest of the world, we've got to get them to come along. That's what we have to get back into, back into the Paris Accord. All right, gentlemen, wait, wait, wait. So why didn't he do it for 47 years? You were vice president. Why didn't you get the world? China sends up real dirt in India. Russia does, India does, they all do. We're supposed to be good. And by the way, he made a couple of statements. The Green New Deal is a hundred trillion dollars. That is not, not my plan. plan. That's uh, three. Well, we want to rebuild every building. Right. 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 If you knew anything about, if you knew anything about, he made a statement about the military. He said I said something about the military. He and his friends made it up, and then they went with it. I never said it. Okay. That is what he did, he You're said, not he called the military stupid bastards. He said it on tape. He said stupid bastards. Please, not Stop. I would never say that. I would that. Play, Stop. It. Stop. Stop. Play it. Stop. Go ahead. Mr. Vice President, answer his final question. The final question is, I can't remember which of all his branches. I'm having a little trouble myself, but, and about the economy, this question of what it's going to cost the, the economy. The I economy. mean, the Green New Deal and the idea of what, what your the environmental change will do. The Green New Deal will pay for itself as we move forward. You're not going to build plants that, in fact, are great polluting plants. Do you support the Green, Green New Deal? Pardon me? You support No, I don't support the Green oh, New Deal. Oh, you don't? Oh, well, well that's a big statement. I support you the, just part of the radical left. I, su Aaron, I support no, the don't. Biden plan that I put forward. Okay. The Biden plan, which is different than what he calls the radical Green New Deal. All right, gentlemen, final segment, election integrity. As we meet tonight, millions of Americans are receiving mail-in ballots or going to vote early. How confident should we be that this will be a fair election? And what are you prepared to do over the next five plus weeks? Because it will not only be to election day, but also counting some ballots mail-in ballots after election day what are you prepared to do to reassure the american people that the next president will be the legitimate winner of this election in this final segment mr vice president you go first prepared to let people vote we should go to iwillvote.com 
decide how they're going to vote, when they're going to vote, and what means by which they're going to vote. His own Homeland Security Director, and as well as the FBI Director, says there is no evidence at all that mail-in ballots are a source of, of being manipulated and cheating. They said that. The fact is that there are going to be millions of people because of COVID that are going to be voting by mail-in ballots, like he does, by the way. He sits behind the Resolute Desk and sends his ballot to Florida, number one. Number two, we're going to make sure that those people who want to vote in person are able to vote because there are enough poll watchers are there to make sure they can socially distance. The polls are open on time, and their polls stay open until the votes are counted. And this is all about trying to dissuade people from voting because he's trying to, con to scare people into thinking that it's not going to be legitimate. Show up and vote. You will determine the outcome of this election. Vote, vote, vote. If you're able to vote early in your state, vote early. If you're able to vote in person, vote in person. Vote whatever way is the best way for you because you will, he cannot stop you from being able to determine the outcome of this election. And in terms of whether or not when the votes are counted and they're all counted, that will be accepted. If I win, that will be accepted. If I lose, it will be accepted. But by the way, if in fact he says he's not sure what he's going to accept, well, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter because if we get the votes, it's going to be all over. He's going to go. He can't stay in power. It won't happen. It won't happen. So vote. Just make sure you understand you have it in your control to determine what this country is going to look like the next four years. Is it going to change? We get four more years of these lies.